we got a nice little copy here and a nice little game downloaded that we gotta put in our files. All right, this might take a little bit. This is this is the life. Fears to fathom. Woodbury getaway. We got multiple episodes. Home alone. Oh, I see. Oh, so. Oh. Did. I haven't played any of the other ones. I have no idea what they're about, but can I click these? No. Okay, so it takes you to where you can. Oh. Okay, so there is Home Alone's free, but we don't own Home Alone. But we are playing Woodbury Getaway. Let's check this game out. I am quite excited. Fears of Fathom, Episode 5. Two. I keep thinking it's of Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. Let's turn my headset all the way up. Needed coffee to get the to get done with the day. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Wow, this looks beautiful. Dude, okay. Oh my lord, I love this. Wow. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Fight Club, but rule number one is don't talk about it, and the second one is we're gonna talk about it. This looks just like the fight or the the ending where he like dies. I mean, what? Nothing. Ha oh, we need coffee. Let me get that creamer, baby. This is this is cool, dude. Give me that. Like, do we just give me a cup? G. Oh. G is not the move. Oh, oh, give me a K cup. How do I? G. G. Oh, G. G. Alright, well, it don't matter. Oh, oh, oh my god, bro. It needed water. But what about the cup? I'm just being real. What, uh, what, what would you put a. Needed an empty. Oh, hello. Oh my god, we're so big brain right now, guys. We've definitely made a cup of coffee. I totally don't work at Starbucks outside of this YouTube stuff. Give me that cup of joe, brother. I will say, though, that, that fizz vending machine do be looking quite scrumptious. I would need to put a lid. You don't need a lid, bro. You're a little pains. You can't carry a hot cup without a lid. Brother. Needed to use the... Why did we get the coffee first? Why would we not go to the bathroom first? I feel like the bathroom is... Dude, who is typing? Yo. What's up, brother? You are going ham on that keyboard. Left, right, I don't even know anymore. Hey, brother. I'm just gonna sip this in your ear. You having fun typing there, man? You're really going to town on these documents that I don't even know what it is but boy golly this coffee sure is good and quite hot but my raw dog mouth can just handle it all dude let's just keep drinking all the coffee oh there's a sound over here we can't go that way it sounded very like video game old school texture hey bro oh Okay, my bad, brother. I didn't know. I don't know what to do. Okay. Fine, I'll pick it up. <laughs> I want to. Hey, man, I didn't mean to throw it that time. <laughs> Where would it go to? Oh. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. Check in. Can't these clients ever make up their mind? Still working on that report? Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Don't burn yourself out. Whatever. All right, brother. Let me get my cup so I can throw it at you again. You're kind of a, a jerk. Just because you're here working late and I'm here working late doesn't mean you get to be mean to me. All right, anyways, I got to pee in the co-ed bathroom because this is my favorite. We got seats because it gets real busy here. You guys don't even know. I'm a chick. 
I'm a, I'm a female? Wow, I'm a female working late at night. This is what the women's bathroom looks like. Alright, not that great. Toilet number one. Toilet number two got a drink on it? Oh my god, let me... Oh my god, it's the fizz! Scroll up to open. Oh my god, you better, you better be drinking out of this. A little toilet soda. This is my favorite little surprise. <laughs> a little toilet soda to end the night. I'm drinking this all because... I ain't going pee later. Oh. I think... What was his name? I think he might want this. Hey, man. I really I really had to go pee, but... I figured you might want that. He's like the human trash can anyways. He doesn't even care. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, close this door. Alright. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he lies, I gotta pee. Alright, we're going to this one. Ah, <sighs> finally. We have a, a pee meter. I wish this was in real life. This is so ominous. Oh. He is in the bathroom with us. I don't want to get up. I am scared that he is outside the bathroom door. Hey, let me flush this real quick. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh! Okay. Okay. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. It's okay. You're in the women's bathroom, you creeper. So sorry. Should have known before I came in. But there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Yes, you should have knocked. Again, I'm sorry, I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated in that. Husta slipped my mind. Musta. Musta. <laughs> Musta. Mustard. Why are you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Do we own up to it, or do we just say that's really rude? Yeah, that's really rude. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. You are rude, brother. You're not even picking up coffee cups, bro. You're just sweeping in the women's bathroom. Let me get some soap. Okay, yeah, I'm like, you better wash your hands. You're going to the bathroom. Oh. He's coming back in here. Bo just literally does not give a shit. That's loud. That's so loud in my ear holes. Alright. Well, see you later, man. I don't know anybody's name. Let me go in the men's bathroom. Let me go at the exit. Dude, stop creeping around, you freaking creeper. Alright, I want to go this way. I need to book the cabin. Why are we booking this cabin? What is this person's name? I don't even remember. Good. Alright, well, they don't even have a name, and these are just the janitor that just creepily everywhere. Alright. Oh, the phone. The phone is ringing. I want to go over there. I swear I heard a noise. Hello? Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. What's up, Mike? I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> no, I was. <laughs> uh, no, it didn't even cut out. It, no, it even cut out on a client. I'm earlier. just kidding. <laughs> um, Shut up, Mike. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. There's Damn, more overtime. That sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yeah, right. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. These headphones, like, glitch. Where, like, only one ear works at a certain volume. And so I just have to... Wait, maybe we can... Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? I just really wanted to see you and Nora. 
didn't know I was going to do it. Whatever. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. Thanks, brother. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Oh, you need no, your own car. No, gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Mm. Yeah, I have no option for no. I think sure is kind of like the dick answer. Like, yeah, but like you're doing it. Like, I don't really care about it. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Thanks, oh, Mike. Uh, wait, one more thing. No. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Fucking hang that shit up, bro. We don't deal with Mike. <laughs> right, let me get to work, bro. Company amount approved stage tech report record. Money. Type invader. What is this? Oh. Wait, what is... Sim... Oh, I had to type? Oh my god. This is crazy. I was not ready for this. Summer... No! That's crazy. This is tough. I'm not this fast at typing. Oh my god. Thick. That alien is thick. That is the definition of a thick alien. Wait, so oh my lord brother this is a much more challenging than i thought it was gonna be they run no what are these words these are multiple words oh move record no or join. Talk, play, yarn, similar hold. Oh, no. When I day, no, we push and pee, baby. Is there any alien in the car? Oh, my lord. Bruh, your boy kind of clean with it, though. What do we have to... Cabin? I don't even know. Rentalcabin.com. My rent-a-cabin. Why did I think it was rental? What berry? Search. cabin they want to keep it cheap because they broke there's only one option because why would there only be more the private cabin in Woodbury three guests two bedroom two bed oh dude they're sleeping with us nah bro you're sharing a bed with I can't remember their name we got Mike her name's Sydney. Dude, I really have a brutal memory. Those two are sharing a bed, though. All right. That was easy. <laughs> Literally, like, booking booking a cabin. So easy. Who would have thunk it? Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if, it, if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump up board as well. <laughs> the plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. What's up, Mike? We drove up, bro. Just you, me, Nora, Mike. Come on, Mike. Oh, what's up, brother? Afternoon. Quite chilly today, eh? 
I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. Nice to meet you. You wanna let? You're on the tenth floor, right? I'm on the eight. How'd you know? I've seen you a few times getting off at the tenth floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I don't know if my accent is changing every time, but it's it's definitely close. I work at a consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. I like leaving people at awkward. Oh, how do I answer that? Press escape to hang out. <laughs> get hung up on. Pulling into the parking garage now. Are you downstairs yet? Sorry, dude. Let me type my message. Oh. No. Leave me alone. I don't care to go. <gasps> Come on! Let me send it! No! <laughs> Come on! Alright, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th through the 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions. And feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The door will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. Oh, oh, we get the we get the deets. Yo, Harv, how have you been? Mike! I'm literally so tired. I was just about to turn in for the night. What about you? Not much. Just keeping things afloat, my friend. How's work at the new firm? Pretty much the same as the old job. Just coding my life away, but the pay is better. Anyway, I've been thinking about our chat from earlier. Oh, Mike, I, like, I really don't know. Getting away sounds fun, and it'll be so much work to get packed and leave for the weekend. All I'm going to do is think about all the work I should be getting done at the office. Listen to yourself, Harp. We're talking about taking a nice, relaxing weekend getaway, and all you're focusing on is how to make relaxing. How to make relaxing. What you're focusing on is how to make relaxing. I don't even know what that means. I haven't had a real break in ages, Mike. I'm not even sure I remember how to relax anymore. I work all day, and when I get home, all I think about is work. I didn't get finished. It's hard to just unplug, you know? And that's exactly why you should come. Think of it this way, Sydney Harper. You're like a battery, full of power and productivity. But what happens when you run out of battery too long? It loses its charge. We gotta put you back on the charger, Harp. You'll go back to work after the weekend with more energy than ever. 20% more productivity. I bet. Come on. Who knows? Maybe you'll thank me later. I haven't seen that face in so long. It used to be like such a meme. Plus, Nora's really excited about it. And I really wouldn't be the same without you. It really wouldn't be the same. Sorry, pass, passed out last night. Damn it. Fine. All right. I'll check in with HR and let you know. Take your time, Harp. But let me know that you... But take your time, Harp. But just know that whatever you decide, we're here for you. Smiley face, Harp. Yo, Harp! Your cell keeps going straight to voicemail. Everything okay? Call me back. I'm getting a little worried. Just book. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay. Heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. Are you downstairs yet? No. Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright. What do I do? Oh, oh, we got way more messages. Nora. Oh, Harpy! Been over a year since I saw your stupid face. Ha! It'll be fun, right? It'll be like the girls' trip we planned our sophomore year. The one that never ended up happening. La 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 la. <laughs> you, me, and Taylor, huh? That was such a long time ago. Why didn't we go? Baxter took her to a concert, I think. We just never tried again. You know, I can't be mad at her for not inviting us to the wedding. We all just kind of lost touch with each other. But we're going to change that this weekend. I'm so excited. Are you going to drive alone? Yeah, I've done it before. Don't you worry, girl. I'll probably be getting there a little late, though. One of my clients wants to do a review that afternoon. You could probably tag with Mike, though, since you both live in the city. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it. We can burn up his gas. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Can't wait to give you the biggest hug. Me too, too, too. Bro, angel numbers. Shout out to my boy, Angel numbers 
Anyways, we got a group chat with all of them. Oh my god. Did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. Baxter got her pregnant, and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower? I can just see it now. A birth announcement that says, The Force is strong with this one. Mikey! La 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 la. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you're the biggest nerd I know other than Baxter. Would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love. The Beatles. Aw, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again, right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass, revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Blah. Seriously, I feel you, girl. May well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. You, me, one bet. I mean, not the same kind as Baxter had for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house this winter, somewhere in Vermont maybe. We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. Of course, the guy that is inviting two girls to a cabin somewhere in the middle of the woods is 100% serious about it. It'll be like our college days. You can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we can get high? I'm sure one of my old contacts could come through. That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. I love it. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Think about it, heartbeat. A weekend away from all the stress. No work, no deadlines. It'll be like a girl's trip. But with Mike, lol, you can say it like it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll let I'll get back to you after I think it over. XOXO. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in. But there better be wine involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'll be so good. Harp. Would you mind taking the lead on booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to say, Me? Book the cabin? I suppose I could do that. I'm excited! Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Hey. But she's the one supplying the pizza. That's crazy. Nora, that's no problem. We'll make sure to get you something reasonably priced. We got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes me sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop! We already read this. All right. What all do I need to do? Five. All right, leave me alone. Oh, okay. Is this Mike? Mike, 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 Mike. Harp. Hug. Damn, that was fast. That's still how you hug people. <laughs> Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Just to test hug to see how you smelled first. Fair enough, but for the record, I shower just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Chuckle long hug or long hug? You want a little, you want a little... <laughs> ah, my boy Mike, I missed you. You look good. So do you, Mike. Thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have had it any other way. It'll be nice to have some company on the way. This old truck brings me back so many memories. Right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the bag. We'll get on our way. All right. Let me just uh, let me take a little peruse around here. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of Mike. Oh, all right. Whatever, bro. Fine. Don't let me have any secrets. What is the? Am I jumping in the back? Like, how do I put my stuff in the bag? In the. 
I am in the back. Okay. Okay. Can I? Oh, my bag. Dude, obviously I just forgot it there. Thank God no one took the elevator because that would have been gone. Like, and then I wouldn't have been able to go anywhere. <laughs> All right, then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyways. All right, then, Harp. Yay. All right. All locked up. Let's put this bad boy on the road.